everybody. Welcome back to the show. Of course, the Canucks are at home again tonight. Absolutely. And uh, we were just talking to Gary Volk, of course, Canuck hockey analyst with Sportsnet about the playoff run last year because uh, you looked like you were having a blast last year, Gary. Oh, to, to be able to do a live show and to be able to interact with the fans, it's simply amazing experience. And it's one thing that I, I could even bring my eight-year-old son to a few of the games and my daughter and have them experience it. Do live TV with... Um, you know, people racing up behind you. It I was love fun. The, the headphones <laughs> yeah, they had yeah. you guys in because I understand why. Because the people behind you guys and around you guys were so loud when you were it doing the broadcast. It was deafening. And it, you know, when they, they won a few of those games in overtime, so you could hear the people as soon as the game was over. There was a roar. The set was rumbling, <laughs> and they were flying behind you. It was so cool. Yeah. How do you concentrate when all that is going on? I mean, of course, you guys are pros, but it's so exciting too because it's hot. For you. It, it's uh, you have to prevent yourself from yelling. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hard thing to do. Don Taylor's a pro. Yeah. He Don is. Taylor's a pro. And John Garrett is sitting there cool and as a John cover. Garrett, He's John seen it Garrett. all. Now, right. He's a goalie. He's not <laughs> usually that smart. So. Uh, amazingly enough, you guys only had one technical difficulty during that entire run. Tell us what happened and how you guys uh, made it back to the studio. Just basically, we lost our feed. And it was panic. And Ian Mendez was in Boston, and Ian doesn't do a lot of Canuck stuff. They just kind of brought him in to, to fill and do one interview. Well, he's filling <laughs> no. 15 minutes of live TV in an empty uh, rink in uh, Boston. He, yeah. just and the worst he did thing a good you can job. See, <laughs> the worst <laughs> thing you can see is someone standing off camera stretch. going, stretch. Yeah. But stretch, you guys just raced back to the studio? That's we raced back, and, and uh, you know, we had the. Thank God it, the studio was ready to go and it was closed. And they got you guys in there. So uh, they talk about, uh, you know, the players sort of, uh, obviously they've had a slow start this year and everything, but uh, it must have felt like a bit of a short off season for you as well on the broadcasting side of it. Just all of a sudden you're right back in it and, and yeah, playing it, again. You know, just from playing hockey, I understand what it's like to have your summers off. And I've never really been, I never made it to the finals as a player. I got to the final four a couple times. Yeah. And that's a short off season. Now to get to the final and to cover it, it, it wasn't a player because I wasn't tired. But it, it's amazing. I'm not surprised the Canucks yeah. are having a slow start. If All four teams that got to the semifinals. The record's terrible. Six out of 22. They've had six wins in 22 games. So all four teams are feeling it right now. Now we have to talk about the elephant in the room, which is uh, Luongo. He's been taking a lot of heat. <laughs> Uh, psychologically, terrible, oh, we're often on him so badly. But what are your thoughts uh, of the psychology of someone like Lou with the Stanley Cup on his shoulders? Well, I mean, for a goalie, it's an individual position in a team sport. I mean, I played for 13 years in the NHL. I couldn't play beer league hockey in net. So <laughs> right. I, to be able to relate with him, you have to be so strong mentally. And for him to win a gold medal, to get one, you know, one game away from the Stanley Cup, you have to be strong mentally. Is he strong enough to withstand the barrage every year? We have him for a few more years yeah. here, people. 2022. Live with it. Enjoy <laughs> it. Okay, he was a you know, Vesna Trophy finalist last year. He's going to be okay. Yeah. Just give him a break. Uh, it, it must be, I mean, because you have such insight into, into you know, playing the game and, and being such a part of it throughout your entire life. But, you know, to a goalie, do, do teams all handle them the same way? Like, do you just kind of leave a guy alone, or is it different personalities? Or Everybody's different. Uh, Curtis Joseph in Toronto, he didn't do interviews on game day. You yeah. couldn't really talk to him on game day. He was just so focused. Look, they're a strange... Birds, they most are, of, they're like good. they're like relievers in baseball. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, they you know they got the stuff. We were just going talking on. to Schneider and, last week, and yeah. he will admit yeah. he's got a weird shock, right? Well, and Kirk McLean, we well, talked to yeah. him as well. And His nickname is Weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and he said he got he got less weird when he stopped playing <laughs> yeah, yeah. because all of a sudden he didn't have all this stuff going on in his head all the time, yeah. so he was allowed to sort of you know breathe a little bit. Hey, Luongo will be fine because he's a pro. Yeah. Um, but the city of Vancouver has to realize, like, last game was not his fault. You cannot be booing him when your team goes over on the power play yeah. and the Sedins were awful and, and Burroughs score. couldn't How does that score. How affect you as players? Because it really makes me oh, it, irate when people it's leave hard to get when there's booed. five minutes left in the yeah. game and then people are booing yeah, when he, he oh, touches crowd. the puck. What does that do to you on the ice? Yeah, it, it's tough. There was a, I remember one time I was young in my career and I ran Steve Iserman and, and I, I think I put him out for a few games and he was hurt. And I went into, into Detroit where obviously he played. And I got booed. I got stuff thrown at me. I had death threats. I had it all going on. And I'm like, well, how do you concentrate on hockey now? So that's just part of it. You have to understand it. But we are human. Yeah. And 
You it's know, our team. We have feelings too. But Gary, when you talk to guys <laughs> when they're playing the game, they say, "Well, you know, I don't really, you know, you yeah, don't really you care." Yeah, do. They're they're lying to you. Don't worry. Really? Okay, let's oh, talk about it. your website. Uh, just launched. Save it forward. This is it's such an concept. interesting concept. Tell us well, about it. Well, it. it's a daily deal type program like uh, like Groupon might be, but with us, we're going to use celebrities to promote the deals, and a portion is going to go to charity. So we're able to access charity. Uh, charities and have have the celebrities want to be associated with a charity we can link them together with a company now suddenly uh, big companies out there can go okay I want to be associated with Mason right. Raymond or Gary Valk or Don Taylor and yet they're giving back to charity so you're at the same time. you're getting a deal time. and you're giving to charity. Exactly. Uh, are the companies choosing the charities to the, the celebrity? I mean, who gets to, does the company? If the companies doesn't have a charity, we will provide them with one. We have a list of charities lined up to do this. If yeah, the, no but most companies are associated with them now yeah. and they have their feel good story with whether it's cancer or diabetes or, or cut fun for kids or whatever it's gonna be. But it's such a unique concept because obviously social media is an important part of our lives now with Twitter yeah. and Facebook and that. So to be able to have the celebrities promote it, yeah. it's, that's the unique thing. It's They're going to get a yeah. little kickback too, but most of it's going to charity. That's so bright. how do you get ready uh, for games? How do yeah. you prep for things like tonight? What do you do? Well, you know, you got to have your pregame nap, eat a little pasta, <laughs> you know, stretch carb up, load. carb load up. Uh, you know, turn the phone off, go in my quiet room. Are you a goalie relax. now? Do you yeah. look at that? I mean, you must know all the, all the guys, yeah. not just on the Canucks, but Nashville and everything else. I mean, you must have a pretty good feel for it now and you just watch yeah, the game. Nashville's going to be, uh, if you're betting tonight, Tonight you might want to bet the Canucks because yeah. Longo will come up big and Nashville's got some tough injuries up front so it's going to be tough for them to score goals here tonight. I like to hear that. Bet them hard. Uh, too, too early to make predictions <laughs> on the season with the Canucks? You think they're going to be all too right? Early. Think they're gonna... Too early. Too early. And even Marco Sturm, you know, everybody's all over him. He's a new guy yeah. with Vancouver. He's sitting out a little bit in. now. And look, give him 15 games. Yeah. Like he, he, The guy scored a ton of goals in his career. Be patient. We all know in this market, look, the Canucks are going to make the playoffs. Yeah. Okay, there's no other team in this division better than them. Yeah. They will make the playoffs. It's what they do in the playoffs. You got to cut them a little slack right now. We're tough fans. Thanks so Come much, on. Hey, Gary. You pay good money for tickets. Absolutely. Keep your season tickets. I know. <laughs> Keep Catch on. Gary and All the right. gang on Sportsnet Connected tonight starting at 8.30. And you can also check out the great website we were just yeah, chatting right about right called Save It Forward. Get a deal. Do something for charity. You can't lose. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll come back.